welcome to my channel. My name is Victory. Please hit subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to hit subscribe as well. I'm trying to get those numbers up. But in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the things that I've purchased during lockdown because let's be honest, what else is there to do? So I'm going to start off with my prize possession. The first thing that I picked up was Lysol spray. So this is like gold, honey. So because I've been getting so many packages, I leave them in the garage and then I spray them down and then open them up. So it's killed 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. And what else could you need at a time like this? So love that. And then this might be like the bougiest thing that I've purchased. So it is laundry detergent from Mason Francis Kirk de Jong. And you may know this brand from their perfumes and like candles and stuff like that. But I wanted to pick up their laundry detergent. I haven't used it yet, but my mom got a set as well. We opened hers and it smells divine. But I don't know if it'll like linger on my clothes. So we'll see. But this is definitely like I've out bougie myself at this point. But I mean, we'll see. And then I also picked up a fragrance from the brand, and this is Gentle Fluidity, and this one smells, mm, like it smells so good. It kind of smells like a rose, but it's like super like vanilla-y too. It's like the perfect mixture, bridges everything that I love. So um, yeah, the other fragrance I've been wearing since I was in high school, so I thought it was time to grow up <laughs> and get a new one. And then I picked up two um, candles by Diptyque. I thought I was getting the larger ones, but when they arrived, I was like, wow, joke's on me. I ended up getting two small ones. So I got the fragrance Bay and Rose. And Bay smells like, if you are familiar with like Bath and Body Works candles, it smells like the sea cotton. So it's super perfect for bathrooms. And then I put the Rose in like living room, bedroom. It's just really, um, it smells exactly like roses. And that's my, one of my favorite flowers. And then off of Amazon, I picked up a phone stand. And what I love about this one is you can make it taller and this also like moves as well. So if you're watching a movie or something and like the lighting's weird, you can always like just shift it. And then I put my AirPods like right here because usually when I'm using my phone, I like am using my AirPods if I'm watching something. And then I picked up a coffee table book from Amazon as well. I just love this color combination and it's fashion. So um, I think this will be cute on my coffee table. Like my house is pretty like neutral, but I just like love adding random pops of color. So this just is a fun book that just discusses fashion from every single decade. So comment below what's your favorite fashion decade. Mine would probably be the 70s. Like I love like the whole 70s. I was looking at pictures of my granddad from the 70s and he's so short. He's like five six and he was wearing his like little platform shoes and I was like oh if you're short and you're a man you would have probably loved the 70s too so it gave you like a little bit of height honey okay <laughs> oh, I'm sorry is that like mean <laughs> um so then I have a waist trainer from skims which is Kim Kardashian's line of shapewear and I've never worn a um like a waist trainer before so I can't compare it to anything but it fits like super tight but I love the material and like I can breathe but barely so like that's how I feel like I it's like I know it's working like I wouldn't want to just feel regular and you know I just want something to like suck me in and I can tell that it sucks me in but I just got it a couple of days ago so I don't know if I haven't seen like huge results yet and then I picked up this mirror from Chanel and I like love the actual mirror itself because it's not one of those fun house mirrors. You ever like look in a mirror and you're like, that is not my face. That is not my body. I'm getting my lawyers involved because who is this person in the mirror? This one is actually like how your face looks. <laughs> and then it's so cute on the back. It's just the Chanel logo. And I thought it'd be cute for like videos or like a cute picture moment. And also I like the little compact one too. But when you're like doing your makeup, you kind of want a larger mirror. So yeah pick that up and now I'll start with the clothes. So I got a couple things from Zara, Diane von Furstenberg, H&M, ASOS, and I think like Saks. So I start off with this top. <laughs> and one thing you'll find out about me, honey, I love a sleeve. 
So <laughs> this outfit might sound ridiculous. Most of my outfits do until like I put them on. But this with like some overalls, like oversized overalls and like a tight fitted like like shirt that has a bunch of like going like a bunch going on on the sleeve. I think it would be like such a vibe. Like, <laughs> but we'll see. I'll try it on. And if it's dumb, obviously you guys won't see it. But uh, <laughs> I just like love this. And it's kind of like it's a crop, so it like hits like right below, my, like not above my belly button, maybe like it hits right at my belly. I find showing your belly button is so like weird. Like it's a belly button. Like no one wants to see anybody's belly button. Like, okay, how many times did I say belly button? Take a shot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just love the color and I love the little razzle dazzle on the sleeve. And then <laughs> clearly I'm obsessed with like any shade of green. So I picked this turtleneck up from Diane von Furstenberg and I have this already in a black, in a ivory, and as well in a hot pink. So I thought the green would be like a perfect addition to my collection and it's warming up so I probably won't wear this until like fall and winter but I just thought it would be a nice basic to have and I like the color. So speaking of overalls, <laughs> I picked these up from H&M and I got them super oversized so they will probably look ridiculous but I like this medium wash. And they were only, I don't think the price is on here, but I think they were like $30. So, um, and they're like straight, um, kind of like straight leg, not skinny. So I'll try those on for you guys. And then this dress right here is from Zara and it probably looks like nothing hanging up, but it has a beautiful like sleeve. And I tried it on when it first arrived. And let me tell you, honey, the titties were tittying. The girls were like, I'm here, honey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I thought this would be a cute like brunch look with like a pair of Manolos and I'll try it on for you guys. Like I'm going to try on all the clothing pieces for sure. And I picked these jeans up from ASOS and I just love the contrast stitching. So it's like a faded black and then like white piping going down and it follows in the back as well. And they're super high waisted. So I thought it would be cute with like a little bralette top or something like that in common projects. And it'll be a fun like little summer outfit. And another balloon sleeve top. So this I thought would also be cute with the overalls maybe or just with jeans and tucked in maybe like a belt because it has a lot going on on the sleeve. And from the brand Oak and Fort, I wasn't familiar with them until like having clothes. Like I've seen a couple rugs and vases and stuff like that, like home pieces, but I didn't know they had clothes. So I picked up a t-shirt because guys, honestly, before the lockdown, I am not a sweats and t-shirt wearer. Like I prefer like actual clothes, like jeans. And I think I own like maybe four pairs of sweatpants and like a few t-shirts and they aren't like presentable t-shirts like they're t-shirts that I if I were to like dye my hair or <laughs> um I'm doing like some like spray painting something like just t-shirts that I don't care about so they're like they have holes in it like it just looks crazy so I was like this is an opportunity to buy some like cute t-shirts that are fun colors so I picked up this shirt and it says muse and it's a baby blue and the writing in muse is navy blue and I just love that color combination so I picked this shirt up and I've already worn it and washed it and it held up really well in the dryer, which is always nice. And then I picked up a pair of jeans. So I like this wash of jean and it has like a subtle distressing. Either it's Sometimes you either find jeans that have zero distressing or they're like totally tattered and you're like, at this point, like I can't even do anything with these. <laughs> I can't really, they are one function jean. Like you can only wear them one place. And these, I feel like I can dress up, wear them with like heels and like a cute bodysuit. I'll show you guys the new bodysuit that I got that would kind of elevate a look. And I can also wear them like super casual with like my Yeezys or something because um, I don't know, they're just like that sort of style. They're high waisted. I need to get them taken in in the waist and I'll take care of that when we are off of house arrest. So, um, again, like I was saying, I don't really have little t-shirts and like loungewear. So I picked these up from Amazon, shockingly. So I have it in a baby blue color. I have it in a beautiful like Kelly green. And then I have it in this mocha color and then like another nude. 
and these are just like super fun like they fit really tight so that's really nice to have with like sweatpants and just you know just like regular because we're not going anywhere so I just want to look still presentable in the house and this is a little bralette top from Zara it was, I got it in a size small it was $19.90 and I just thought this would be cute to either pair with those black trousers um the black jeans that i showed you or you can do it with black trousers and do an oversized blazer and have it as like a dinner look just one of those basics that you can kind of dress up dress down and it's a really good like thick material too and um i have two more things so the top that i'm wearing is by the brand Ghani. i picked this up off of their website and i think when you like sign up you get about like 10 percent off which is really nice and I just love it. It's like a little corset top. And I was thinking that I could wear this with like jeans, like how I have it on now, or like leather pants would be super cute and like a like a um like a black pump or like a fun heel. But it just adds like a nice little detail. And then when it gets cooler out, I can wear it with like one of those sheer turtlenecks underneath. That's like a super fun print. And um yeah, I got this in a size 36, which I believe is a four because I'm a little bit more busty and I'm so happy I got the four instead of the two because it wouldn't have gone well over the boobs. So then I got this latex bodysuit and thank God the panty part is cotton because, um, well, you know why it's latex. So <laughs> this is by the brand Commando and they have really great stuff. I think I have one other bodysuit from them, but it's long sleeve. And this fits like a glove. Like you can tell it's super well made. We're nice and it'll look good with like again black pants, skirt, jeans. To just elevate a look. And I have the latex pants too. I don't know. I think that'll be like too much though. Like I would straight up look like a dominatrix. Which is also like a vibe, you know? Like, <laughs> but anyway. I got these rings from HRH Collection. And I'm like obsessed with them. So I'll do like a closer up so you can see them but yeah that's all I picked up and then I also have a Sephora order coming but I'm gonna do that in like another video Thanks so much for watching you guys and make sure you subscribe and comment bye